and uh, this is the dish that you can eat just every day. It's one of the best foods ever created by God. It's Hungry Marshall and Hungry Hello. Eric, Uncle the Eric. Uncle Eric. So uh, now we're gonna make a, a Uzbek traditional dish, uh, which is called plov. Uh, it comes from like Central Asia. You know, the Uzbeks uh, are hailing from the world famous cities like Bukhara, Samarkand, Hiva. We are not nomadic people. We are, our neighbors were nomadic. We were settled since ancient times. Uh, basically what we need, uh, uh, oil, it could be olive oil, it could be like any oil, it could be uh, like uh, fat from mutton, uh, we need meat, of course it can be any meat, uh, the best meat is mutton of course, or any uh, like wild grass eating uh, animals, anything. The only exception is uh, it cannot be pork, because pork is not halal, Pork is not kosher. The only animal from which organs are transplanted to humans is the pig. The pig's heart was transplanted, pig's liver, pig's everything was transplanted. Not from monkeys. So eating pig is kind of a cannibalism for me. Uh, of course we need onions, uh, carrots. Uh, the proportion basically is one kilo of rice, one kilo of meat. Roughly half a kilo of uh, onions and half a kilo of uh, uh, carrots. And we will need uh, sunflower oil. Yeah, in this case, it's sunflower oil. In um, Central Asian republics, uh, uh, sometimes they use, you know, uh, the cotton oil mm -hmm. from the cotton seeds they make oil. So this is one kilo. Or we will need like uh, uh, four hundred ml of it. That. Uh, basic difference of Central Asian cuisine from like European we're not simmering we are boiling uh, taking the oil to the boiling point and while we are waiting for the oil to boil we'll cut uh, carrots and uh, onions so uh, basically we cut it just like that with carrots. With carrots is a, is a totally different story. Mm -hmm. So these are like traditional Uzbek knives. This and this. They are just different sizes, but they are really, really good for cooking. So what we need to do is slice the carrots just just like this. Mm -hmm. I can make it. And in the meantime, we're just waiting for the oil to boil. Uh, I'll explain what happens uh, with the oil. So I started to tell the, the, the basic difference between the translation uh, cooking and uh, like European cooking. When you boil, uh, bring the oil to the boil, and you will just see the slight you know, see the slight fog coming from it. So it's uh, almost ready to be used. So when you put meat, especially a big chunk of meat, uh, it kind of get this rust, uh, the, this crust. And with the crust, uh, uh, all, all the juices are kept inside. That is the difference. So the meat will be juicy, uh, fresh, sweet. And uh, in the European countries, normally you, you just don't do it. Uh, there's a nice thing that everybody, every cook has his own secrets. Some people uh, to give a good aroma uh, to the oil, they just throw a bone, uh, I don't know, a branch of a tree, uh, a fruit, anything, just to give the good and pleasant perfume to the oil. Okay, let, 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 let's go and see. See, the oil is should be boiling. Yeah. Mm. 
just just gives a little aroma. You you can just do it with anything. An onion, uh, a bone, or an apple, whatever. And, and, sure. Erkin, where did you learn to cook cloth? Uh, every every man in Central Asia can do it. Of course, I learned it from my mom and from my dad. Uh, they were doing it differently. Uh, sometimes you can even tell by the taste uh, whether it was a man who was a cook or mm. uh, or a woman. Uh, in Central Asia, uh, women do the everyday food. Uh, and for the festive occasions, it's the men who cook. The best cooks are considered to be men. If you go to any restaurant, the chef is male. Uh, when you do uh, a dish like this, uh, if you use big chunks of meat, it can be just a leg of a mutton, uh, ribs, whatever, you first boil the meat to give uh, the meat the, 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 this crust that keeps the juices inside. If you do it differently, I have cut the meat already into small chunks because we're using, roughly we're using uh, one kilo of meat, one kilo of uh, rice. Uh, so the proportion is uh, very easy. And if you're uh, making the dish for uh, like uh, in the San Valencia, if uh, you have a wedding, if you have like a funeral or a kid is born or whatever, uh, anybody who's walking just by your house can get inside and you have to feed them. Uh, a typical wedding party would be like 500 people, 1000 people, anybody can come in, just anybody can come in. So how do you calculate uh, the uh, how much how much plof do you need to make? Because uh, plofs are different. Uh, you can use uh, like the dried fruit, like raisins, uh, uh, apricots, dried apricots. Uh, this will be a, like a festive uh, festive dish. Uh, one hundred grams of rice per person. So one hundred grams of uh, of uh, meat and uh, mm, rice per person. So what I'll do now is. Uh, Let's put the onions. We need to uh, give onions this golden, golden hue. After we're done with the onions, we'll put the meat in. And again, as I told you, if we were making cloth with big chunks of meat, normally when you have like a, this, this is a, uh, uh, this is the thing called kazan. It's big iron. It's excellent like excellent temperatures high temperatures so normally uh at the wedding party uh the especially trained people uh come in with huge huge kazans this kazan is for one uh kilo and a half of rice maximum two because it's inconvenient so what i need to see that the oil was boiling so the onions are getting this golden slightly golden hue again if we're using like whole ribs then comes meat first then the onions so now we're putting meat See? we need to immediately immerse it into the boiling oil and after that on like a big fire, we'll leave it simmering for 15 minutes. After that, we'll add some of the spices because you need lots of spices. Uh, a lot of people, what they do when they cook is, uh, uh, while cooking, they drink vodka. And uh, once they put the oil in, you take a shot of vodka. Then you put the meat in, take a shot of vodka. Then you <laughs> put the oil, take a shot of vodka. In, but, in Uzbekistan they drink as well? Uh, yeah, and uh, they drink, you know, uh, this way. Uh, so that the gods, Allah, won't see. They uh, put vodka into the teapots. 
And Very wise. so, yeah, Allah won't see because you're just uh, pouring like as if you're drinking tea. Okay, Erkin, what is our next step? Uh, so basically, uh, uh, we spent like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes uh, simmering or actually boiling the meat and the onions and see we have lots of onions they're almost dissolved you won't see any onion at all it will completely dissolve it gives the thickness to the gravy uh now what we're doing is uh we're putting half of the spices well uh barbary barbary you put it all it gives like uh a little tang it's uh, slightly sour uh we add half of the spices here you just lots of different peppers and second half of the spices we add when we will put the rice in this is what is called zra in uzbekistan and kumin you need to crush it because it's oily it's extremely good for your health and you need to crush it for it to let out the aroma so we just use half of it half of the salt actually i don't measure salt i use it it's a lot <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's not a lot because we will uh put rice and rice takes mm -hmm. a lot of salt now from this point on we are not stirring anymore no more stirring so we we just put the carrots on and it's kind of in layers And we just cover it with water. How much water do we need? We, we just need, need to cover it so mm -hmm. that the, the, the carrots are covered. So that's enough. Uh, and we'll let it simmer for half an hour, 40 minutes. And now we need slightly slower flame. To this end, you just open the stove and that's it. And uh, the, 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 the fire will be like moderate so we'll be simmering it for half an hour 40 minutes and after that we'll just put in the rice on and uh cover and that's it it's really pretty easy to, to make it and uh, this is the dish that you can eat just every day the universal dish you can eat it every day and there are lots of variants lots of versions what we're doing here now is of course first of all male version <laughs> and it's the uh tashkent version of, of, of love because the tashkent is the capital of uzbekistan in samarkand they make it differently in uzbekistan in bukhara they make it differently in hiva they make it differently like in samarkand they uh cook rice separately they cook everything separately and then they mix it in uh tashkent they uh normally do it this way but every plov tastes different from the cooks from the chef Yeah, what are we doing now? So now uh, we're ready to put uh, the rice on, but first of all, we need to add the second part of the spices. Just distribute it evenly. And now distribute the rice evenly. What type of rice is it? Uh, just basic. Uh, the best rice in um, San Relation is considered to be that brand called Laser. Laser was developed, selected in the um, 60s by a Korean by the name Kim. He was uh, like a world famous selectionist and he made the, the best rice that is good for, uh, for, for cloth. And the brand is Laser. Laser. Mm -hmm. He got lots of state awards from the Soviet Union for this uh, development. And I pour through through the spoon so that not not, not to make like the holes in the in the dish. Then we need to make it boil really really slow. The temperature is really important. At the beginning, you need the top temperature, then you need like middle fire, and here you need like really, really soft fire. You can, re can regulate it in the oven really easy. So I can check. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Slightly more. 
And we add the second part, the salt. Because rice takes a lot of salt. Now we need to wait until uh, the water is absorbed by the rice and slightly <laughs> evaporates. We'll put a little bit more fire because it's almost gone. Yeah. And in the meantime, we can cook the salad. Do we need to cover it? No, not yet. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll cover it after uh, the water is ev evaporated. Okay. The water has evaporated. What Almost. are we doing now? Almost. Uh, j just to check if it has, you just make holes. Uh, and see, inside the water is bo boiling. Mm -hmm. So just, just to, let it, to let it out, the extra water, you just make little holes. In the meantime, uh, a lot of people love garlic. Garlic is extremely good for health. Extremely. It's one of the best foods ever created by God. This is the God-made food. Uh, if it's old, like last year's, uh, you put it inside uh, earlier. But if it's like, like new this year's, we, we just put them inside, cover them slightly. Uh, some people want really like them really soft some like them a little bit al, al dente so we'll try to make something in the middle so to no. let the excess water like fill the rice we'll cover it like that and just like that and let it simmer at the lowest fire possible i'm not putting any more wood so just the embers that are there let it simmer for like like 20 minutes, half an hour. In the meantime, let's make a salad. The classic salad for uh, uh, plov is uh, called achik chichuk, strange name. But basically, this is just onions, uh, onions and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Which one you prefer, the big one or the small, small one? Okay. And here, uh, the thinner the cut is, the better. So you try to make the thinnest possible cut. This is the expertise of the cook. I'm making it like thick. I'm not an expert in making salad. So basically it's just uh, uh, onions and uh, tomatoes and uh, salt and spices, that's it. No, no oil? No oil, no nothing. So now the salad is ready. The we won't make it hot, just a little bit. We'll add again this traditional flavor of Indian and Middle Asian cuisine. Just cut it a little bit. And the salt and no, it just that's basically no uh, oil, no nothing. Onions and tomatoes. You salt it at the last moment. Otherwise, it'll give juice. We're ready to serve fluff. For, for how long have it been? How uh, I think about 20 minutes, half an hour. I didn't actually... Because we were playing uh, backgammon, so I didn't actually pay uh, any attention. So, first of all, we need... Take out onion, uh, garlic. Someone has another garlic. I I hope it will be slightly al dente. So it won't give the burn, the regular burn when when you eat like the fresh garlic. So, and Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan, you normally only now uh, mix it. See, no onions left. All the onions are dissolved in this way of cooking. Although we use lots of onions. Yes, this is called lagan. This is a traditional Uzbek uh, clay uh, dish. Every city, every nation, every like region of Uzbekistan, they have their own uh, their own design. 